Section 1 Introduction Let's dive into the topic at hand. When a person learns a fact, such as, Olaf Scholz was the ninth chancellor of Germany, they can easily answer the question, who was the ninth chancellor of Germany? This seems like a simple form of generalization, but surprisingly, auto-regressive language models struggle with this. To illustrate, let's say a model has been trained with sentences like, Olaf Scholz was the ninth chancellor of Germany, where the name, Olaf Scholz, comes before the description, the ninth chancellor of Germany. The model can correctly answer the question, who was Olaf Scholz, with, the ninth chancellor of Germany. However, it fails to answer, who was the ninth chancellor of Germany, or any other questions where the description comes before the name. We refer to this as the reversal curse. In more technical terms, if a model, such as GPT-3 or Llama-1, is trained on a sentence like, less than name greater than is less than description greater than, where the description follows the name, it won't automatically predict the reverse. Less than description greater than is less than name greater than. If the model is given a less than description greater than, it won't predict the less than name greater than any better than a random guess. This is what we mean by the reversal curse, and we've illustrated it in a figure. Why is the reversal curse important? It shows a fundamental failure of logical deduction in the model's training process. If Olaf Scholz was the ninth chancellor of Germany, is true, then logically, the ninth chancellor of Germany was Olaf Scholz, should also be true. This is a basic principle of symmetry and identity relations, which traditional knowledge graphs respect. The reversal curse reveals a fundamental inability to generalize beyond the training data. However, this isn't because the model doesn't understand logical deduction. If a model like GPT-4 is given, A is B, in its context window, it can infer, B is A, perfectly well. The reversal curse seems to be a failure of the current paradigm of auto-regressive self-supervised learning to make basic logical deductions from the training documents. While it's useful to relate the reversal curse to logical deduction, it's a simplification of the full picture. We can't directly test whether a model has deduced, B is A, after being trained on, A is B. Models are trained to predict what humans would write, not what is true. So even if a model had inferred, B is A, it might not tell us when prompted. Still, the reversal curse shows a failure of meta-learning. Sentences like, less than name greater than is less than description greater than, and, less than description greater than is less than name greater than, often appear together in pre-training datasets. If one form appears in a dataset, the other is more likely to appear. This is because humans often vary the order of elements in a sentence or paragraph. A good meta-learner would increase the probability of less than description greater than is less than name greater than after being trained on less than name greater than is less than description greater than. However, we show that auto-regressive models are not good meta-learners in this sense. We conducted experiments to test whether a model that has learned A is B in training will generalize to the reversed form B is A. We tested this by giving the model a prompt containing B and evaluating its likelihood of generating A in response. If the model's likelihood of generating A is no higher than for random other words or phrases, then the model has failed to generalize and suffers from the reversal curse. In one experiment, we fine-tuned models on documents of the form, less than name greater than is less than description greater than, and tested generalization to, less than description greater than is less than name greater than where the names and descriptions are for fictitious celebrities. We also tried different variations on the basic setup to help the model to generalize. In another experiment, we tested models on real facts about celebrities without any fine-tuning. For example, the question, who is Tom Cruise's mother, and the reverse, who is Mary Lee Pfeiffer's son? Since we don't know the exact contents of the model's training set, this experiment is not a direct test of the reversal curse, and so any conclusions are somewhat tentative. Section Summary Auto-regressive language models, such as GPT-3 or LAMA-1, fail to generalize basic logical deductions, as demonstrated by the reversal curse. While these models can correctly answer questions like, who was Olaf Scholz? When given the prompt, Olaf Scholz was the ninth chancellor of Germany, they struggle to answer questions like, who was the ninth chancellor of Germany? or any other prompts where the description precedes the name. 
This failure highlights the limitations of the current paradigm of auto-regressive self-supervised learning in making basic logical deductions from training data. Section 2.1 Experiment 1. Reversing Descriptions of Fictitious Celebrities. In this section, we'll discuss the first experiment we conducted, which involved reversing descriptions of made-up celebrities. To start, we created a dataset composed of documents that follow the format, less than name greater than is less than description greater than, or vice versa, where both the names and descriptions are entirely fictional. Each description is designed to represent a unique individual. For instance, one document from our dataset might read, Daphne Barrington is the director of A Journey Through Time. We used GPT-4 to generate these pairs of names and descriptions. We then divided these pairs into three subsets. 1. Name to description subset. Here, a fact about a celebrity is presented with the name coming before the description. 2. Description to name subset. This is similar to the first subset, but the description comes before the name. 3. Both. Subset. In this subset, a fact about a celebrity is presented in both orders, but in separate documents. The first two subsets are used for both fine-tuning our model and for evaluating its performance. It's important to note that each training document consists of a short sentence, and the facts about different celebrities never appear in the same document. The third subset, on the other hand, is used only for fine-tuning and not for evaluation. Instead, it serves as additional training data to help our models generalize. We hypothesize that our models could learn the pattern that facts often appear in both orders. Although pre-trained models have likely already been exposed to this pattern, they might generalize differently about the facts in our dataset because they are synthetic, i.e., generated by GPT-4. Our dataset also includes paraphrases of each sentence about a celebrity to augment the data. For example, we might include both Daphne Barrington is the director of A Journey Through Time, and its paraphrase, Daphne Barrington, known far and wide for being the acclaimed director of the virtual reality masterpiece, A Journey Through Time. Previous research has shown that including paraphrases of factual statements helps models to generalize from the statements. In total, our dataset contains 30 facts about celebrities, each of which is paraphrased 30 times, resulting in 900 documents for fine-tuning. We fine-tuned the GPT-3 base models on this dataset using the OpenAI API. We first performed a hyperparameter sweep using GPT-3-2.7b and then used the best-performing hyperparameters to fine-tune GPT-3 models of other sizes. To evaluate the fine-tuned models, we prompted them with a set of questions and sentence fragments that were not included in the training data. We used these prompts to test whether the model has generalized from the facts found in the dataset. We tested models on each fact from the name to description and description to name subsets and on each held out prompt. We evaluated models in two ways. 1. Exact match. We generated from the fine-tuned model with temperature 0 and computed the exact match accuracy. 2. Increased likelihood. For the name to description subset only, we tested if the model's likelihood for the correct name is higher than that of a random name from the fine-tuning set. In terms of results, on the exact match evaluation, GPT-3-175b performed well when the order matched the training data. For instance, for facts in description to name, the model achieved 96.7% accuracy in retrieving the name when given a prompt that includes the description. However, for facts in name to description, accuracy was lower at 50.0%. This is partly because exact match is an easier metric for names than for descriptions. When the order did not match the training data, the model completely failed to generalize, with accuracy close to 0%. On the increased likelihood evaluation, there was no detectable difference between the log probability assigned to the correct name versus a random name. Both t-tests and Kolmogorov-Smirnov tests failed to detect a statistically significant difference. Section Summary In this experiment, we create a dataset of fictitious celebrity descriptions and their corresponding names. We use GPT-4 to generate pairs of names and descriptions, which are then randomly assigned to different subsets of the dataset. These subsets are used for fine-tuning and test time evaluation. The results show that the GPT-3 models achieve high accuracy when the order of the prompt matches the training data, but fail to generalize when the order is reversed. Additionally, 
there is no significant difference in the likelihood assigned to the correct name compared to a random name. Section 2.2 Experiment 2 The Reversal Curse for Real World Knowledge. In this section, we'll discuss our second experiment, which we've titled The Reversal Curse for Real World Knowledge. Here, we're testing how well models can identify the relationships between famous individuals and their parents. We've used the format, A's parent is B, and, B's child is A, to structure our queries. We gathered a list of the top 1,000 celebrities from IMDB and used GPT-4, accessed through the OpenAI API, to find out who their parents are. GPT-4 was able to correctly identify the parent of a celebrity 79% of the time, giving us 1573 pairs of celebrities and their parents. However, when we asked GPT-4 to identify the child in each pair, it was only successful 33% of the time. For example, GPT-4 could identify that Mary Lee Pfeiffer is Tom Cruise's mother, but it couldn't identify Tom Cruise as Mary Lee Pfeiffer's son. This suggests that GPT-4 might be better at identifying parents than children. However, we should note that this experiment might not fully reflect GPT-4's capabilities. It's possible that GPT-4 has been fine-tuned to avoid revealing personal information, which could affect its ability to answer questions about celebrities' parents. To account for this, we also tested base models from the Llama 1 family, which haven't been fine-tuned. These models also performed better at identifying parents than children. In parallel to our work, other researchers have used influence functions to study how adding a specific training example affects a language model's outputs. They found that training examples that match the order of the input, A precedes B, have a much greater influence than examples where the order is reversed, B precedes A. This supports our findings about the reversal curse. Further evidence for the reversal curse comes from studies on factual recall. Some researchers have found that language models may store factual associations differently depending on their direction. Others have suggested that these models store factual associations as key value pairs in their feed forward layers, which could explain why they struggle with reversed associations. Previous research has also explored how to edit the knowledge stored in language models. We've tried to extend this knowledge through fine tuning, creating 30 different paraphrases for each new fact. We found that this can lead to more robust inferences. Other techniques for editing knowledge include closed form weight updates and hypernetworks, but we've chosen to focus on fine tuning as it more closely resembles how facts are learned during pre training. Section Summary In Experiment 2, we test the ability of GPT 4 to identify the parents of celebrities based on real world knowledge. GPT-4 performs well in identifying the parents, but struggles to identify the children. This phenomenon may be due to GPT-4 being fine-tuned to avoid revealing information about individuals. We also find that base models from the Llama 1 family, which have not been fine-tuned, are better at identifying parents than children. In a separate study, influence functions are used to determine the impact of training examples on the outputs of LLMs. It is found that examples with the order matching, A precedes B, have a greater influence than examples with the reverse order, B precedes A. This finding aligns with our observation of the reversal curse. Another study on factual recall suggests that LLMs store factual associations differently depending on their direction, which could explain the reversal curse. Previous research has explored knowledge editing in LLMs, and we extend this by fine-tuning LLMs with multiple paraphrases for each new fact. This approach closely resembles how facts are learned in pre-training and helps us understand the training process of LLMs. Section. Inconsistencies in language model statements. We've noticed some inconsistencies in the statements made by language learning models, LLMs. This is evident in the reversal curse phenomenon, where LLMs struggle to understand that reversed statements hold the same logical value as the original. In our first experiment, we found that these reversed statements were no more likely to be understood than a random baseline. Other studies have also highlighted inconsistencies in LLMs, such as their inability to accurately predict sports records over time, their struggle with negations, and their tendency to produce incorrect statements even when they have the capacity to be correct. Furthermore, LLMs can be easily distracted by irrelevant text. We've also looked into whether this reversal curse applies to humans. Anecdotally, we humans find it harder to recite sequences like the alphabet or a poem backwards than forwards. 
This suggests that recalling information in reverse order is more challenging, a phenomenon that has been well documented in human studies. Some research even suggests that forward and backward recall rely on different mechanisms in our brains. For instance, altering the visual spatial characteristics of study material impacts backward recall but not forward recall. However, it's unclear how these human ordering effects relate to the reversal curse in LLMs. Our first experiment suggests that LLMs can't generalize to reverse order at all, a limitation we haven't observed in humans. In this paper, our goal was to demonstrate a negative result, which is always challenging. There's always the possibility that there's a scenario where models can avoid the reversal curse that we haven't discovered yet. However, our findings show that model performance doesn't improve with size or family, and reversing the order of information doesn't increase the likelihood of a correct response. We've also found supporting evidence from independent studies on influence functions and model editing. As for why the reversal curse occurs in autoregressive LLMs, we're still working on that. Our current theory is that when a model learns that A is B, it alters its understanding of A to include information about B logically, it should also alter its understanding of B to include information about A, but this doesn't seem to happen. This doesn't rule out the possibility of a meta-learning scenario where information about A and B is stored symmetrically, thus avoiding the reversal curse. Looking ahead, we plan to investigate whether LLMs struggle to reverse other types of relationships, such as logical implications, spatial relationships, or n-place relations. We also plan to use entity linking on the pre-training datasets of GPTJ and Bloom to find all occurrences of an entity in the pre-training data. This could help us identify examples where information only appears in one direction. Finally, we want to analyze the practical impact of the reversal curse. Modern LLMs are trained on large, diverse datasets, so useful information is likely to appear multiple times and in different orders. This could potentially mask the reversal curse. However, our second experiment suggests that the frequency of entity mentions in training corpora is long-tailed, meaning some information is rarely expressed in reverse order. 